up and running. Thank you very much for joining me for another math lesson. I'm happy to be broadcasting section 11.4 to you, which is related to solving two-step equations. These are not one step anymore. We're moving on to two-step ones. So um, they all look like this. They all look like AX plus B equals C, which literally means this X here is still our mystery number. We're going to be multiplying it by a value and then adding some more. So it kind of looks like this. We have our mystery amount, we're multiplying them. Here we have two times two. Then we're gonna add some stuff to it. And uh, we got some stuff on the other side. And we know that the scale is balanced. So put an equal sign before you begin anything. I'm gonna quickly skip on to the second part here before answering the first part. It says, write the equation. The equation is very simple. We have two X's, so we write two X. Then we have plus six more. Then we have an equal sign, and then we have, uh, oh my god, we got a lot here. We got 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 16. That's our equation. But the goal, like any other um, algebraic uh, situation with scales, we have to figure out how much is in the boxes. We have to know how many of these red marbles are sitting in each one. So the scale method tells us that we have to isolate the variable. We have to eliminate everything that's sitting beside it. And that way we can uh, figure out how much is in each box. So look, we're going to get rid of these six. For you, you're going to X them out. You're going to slash them out. You don't have the luxury to do what I'm doing because you're using paper and pencil. So I'm going to take these out, minus them out. But then if I don't do anything else, the scale is going to tip because this side is going to be heavier. So to avoid that, I have to minus six from this side. And then the scale instead of tipping, we'll go boop, back to balanced again, which is wonderful. Now we have two boxes on this side and we have 10 marbles on the other side. And it's not hard to figure out that there's got to be five in each one because we need 10 all together here. Split into two groups is going to be five in each one. But how do we represent that? Well, for me, what I can do, I just go like this. I go boom, separate these, separate these and say this goes with that and this one goes with that box. But again, you have paper pencil, so here's what you should do. Take your pencil and circle a group. Then circle another equal group. Circle two groups because we have two groups on this side and then make an arrow and make another arrow and say five and five. Done. But now how do we do it using this method here? We have solved the equation using step-by-step -step algebra. I'm gonna call it the two-step method. The first thing you need is this equation. So you need to write it down again. Let's write it here. Uh, let's write it over here. And leave some space because we're going to need it. Before we moved anything, we had 2x plus 6 equals 16. Now try to remember what we did first. And switch colors if you have another color. The very first step was we minus 6. And here we minus 6 to balance it. And then we had 10, then we had two X's, and this plus six minus six just dies, right? There's nothing left. Then we divided, right? We divided by two. Because we had two groups here, we divided by two. And here we had two groups, we divided by two. Look, they canceled to make one X equals five. So that must mean there must five marbles in each one. Now, let's try this one here. You go ahead and begin this, if you'd like. I'm going to just uh, answer it right away. You can check your answers over. Solve the equation. I'm going to write the equation first. I'm going to write it out because I'm going to move things. I'm going to get confused. Let's just write out the equation first. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Then we have equals. Put the equals in. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice the 7 comes first, so I write 7. Then I'm going to add three X's, three boxes with mystery quantities. Let's solve it using the scale balance method. What side do we start with? The variable side. So go ahead, X all these out. These are seven. So rebalance it by Xing these seven, get rid of them. Now it says six equals three X. How many groups do we split this into? Three, yeah, because there's three boxes. So we're going to go one group, circle it, two, three. Each box takes a group. 
to be balanced, each box has two, two, two. That makes six, and this makes six. So that's all you gotta show me. Then I get it, and I'll give you full marks. But how do you do it using the two-step method? First step, write out your equation. Go 13 equals seven plus three X. Leave a lot of space below. In fact, I'm gonna make some more space. When you do these, do them exactly how I'm showing you. The format is so important. The first step we did was, we didn't look at the X's. We looked at these seven marbles. We minus them. Then we minus the seven on this side to balance it. Now this says six. These are gone, they're nothing. There's just nothing there anymore. And then we have the three boxes. Three boxes, six on the other side. What did we do? We divide it into groups. Three groups and three groups. That makes two equals X, right? Six divided by three is two. Two equals X, which means each box has two inside. And that's the only way to balance this. How about a real world scenario? We have two shirts with some mystery price attached and we're gonna buy some glasses, sunglasses. Altogether, they're gonna cost us $40 and it says use the scale balance method to solve for the price of the shirt. That's, the, oh, that's what's missing, that's the unknown. So we're gonna use the same thing. There is no scale balance here, but we can still use the same principle. We look at one of the sides first. Which side do we look at? The left or the right? The left, why? Because the variables on the side, the unknown, the mysteries on this side. So we start here. We are gonna remove everything away from the mystery stuff. Get rid of the glasses, get rid of the 12 bucks. But if you don't do anything else, the scale will tip. So we have to remove 12 bucks from this side. And we can do that just by going minus 12. Makes $28. Okay. So now we have two shirts are worth $28. Okay. So I, I think we're seeing this now. That must mean we have to divide into two groups. All this money is split into two parts, 14 and 14. There, we, we did it. $14 a shirt. Okay, great, but how do we do this now with the other method? So let's quickly erase, reset, put the glasses back, and write the equation. We have, uh, what do we have? We have two X's, plus 12, so $12 more, equals $40. Let me ask you something, what does X stand for? Did you say the price of the shirt? You'd be right. Now it says, go ahead, solve using the two-step method. Okay, let's uh, write it out. Let's leave a lot of space below. Change your colors if you got it. The first step was we minus 12. Then we minus 12. We got 2x. This is gone. Equals 28. We didn't stop there. We divided by 2, divided by 2, because there's two shirts. Then we get x, these cancel, to make 1x equals $14, done. That's it, X is 14. And we can check it by saying this is 14, and that is 14, and that makes 28, plus 12 is 40. Yes! Now we've got a different kind of problem that's very similar, in fact. We're gonna buy shirts and socks. Let's read this. There was a sign that advertised, buy two shirts, get socks for $3 a pair, $3. Okay, out of this, what's our mystery? So far, we don't know the price of the shirts. We just know the price of the socks. Okay, let's keep going. Mike bought two shirts and four socks, four pairs, and he paid $30 altogether. So right away, we can put an equal sign. We can write $30 here. Let's write $30. And on the other side, we're gonna draw our two t-shirts. I'm not good at drawing things, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to copy these shirts. How about that? And uh, let's use them here again. Like this. And then we are going to put the socks beside it. So the socks now, I'm going to write the price. I don't need a variable. These here are X's. I don't know their price. I know I've got two X's. But I have also some socks. And I know it's going to cost me three bucks.
We got four three dollars. We got four of them because we have four pairs. So we have plus twelve equals thirty dollars. Let's go ahead and write dollar signs. I'm gonna contrast it. There we go. Dollar signs. Oh, that's so ugly. Let's remove the dollar signs. All right, let's just write uh, 30. Oh, no, I got rid of it all. Okay, let's do it again. 2x plus 12 equals 30. Let's go ahead and solve this using the two-step method. So go ahead, write it out again. 2x plus 12 makes 30. Step one, minus 12. Minus 12. Then we go 28 equals, okay, we can get rid of this, it's zero, and then we have 2x, so two shirts will cost 28. We kind of did something like this already. Then we divide by two. Switch colors again. Divide by two, you're gonna get x equals 14. Look, the twos. Two divided by two is just one. One x is 14, done. We can quickly check this and say 14 plus 14 plus the 12. It's almost the exact same question as the last one. Let's bounce to the last part here. Go ahead, you can pause this. Go ahead, do this and check it using left side equals right side. I'm not gonna check them all, but you can go ahead and check them. Um, I'm just gonna start rolling with this. Uh, you can feel free to stop at any time. And uh, let's uh, do this without drawing. Let's just do it using the two-step algebraic method. So step one, isolate your variable. So we'll get rid of these minus six. Now how do you get rid of minus six? The opposite step, right, plus six. Do it exactly how I'm doing it. Then we go plus six here. 18 plus six is 24. Minus six plus six is nothing. Six W. This is like saying six shirts, right? Six W is kind of like saying six boxes, six shirts, half $24. They cost $24. So we divide now by six. We're gonna split it up, divide by six. So we've got, now these cancel, you get W equals four. Lovely. How about this one? We have 40 equals nine K minus five. Okay, which side do we start on? The right side, right. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna go minus five. Okay, we'll do the opposite, plus five. Then we'll go plus five here. Now it says 45 equals nine, 9K. So nine shirts cost 45. How much does one shirt cost? Divide by nine, right. Divide by nine, you get five equals K, means a shirt will cost you $5. We got two left here, baby. We got, we got six plus three A. So we're gonna go, we have six marbles here and we got three A, that's kind of like, uh, uh, which question was it? I believe it was um, this one here where we had all of these pieces beside it. Here it said seven plus three X. We minus seven first. Look at this. Here we have, we have six plus three A. Okay, so we're gonna go minus six. Then minus six there. 15 minus six is uh, nine equals 3a comes down and 6 minus 6 that's just 0 we just leave it then we go to step 2 then we go divide by 3 divide by 3 and we get a equals 3 yes done now we have uh, we're at 15 minutes here we got to keep uh, finish this really quick we're going to start on the right side we'll go minus 12 go minus 12 here so we have 6C, this is zero, equals, what's this? It's gonna be 18. Really quickly, divide by six, divide by six, you're gonna get three equals what? Three equals C. We can uh, quickly check these using left side, right side. I'm just gonna pop it in, I'm gonna check one of these. Let's check uh, this one, how about the three? We're gonna substitute in here. Six times three, remember these being multiplied. Six times three is 18. 18 plus 12 is 30. Look what that side says, 30. 
left side equals right side. You can go ahead and check all the rest. I'm done here. We're pushing 16 minutes. It's a little bit too long, but you know what? Well worth the effort. You're getting smarter. You're getting wiser. That's what this is all about. And it's only 16 minutes of your time. So I want to thank you very, very much for joining me for this um, particular math lesson. It's the last in the series. Um, I hope it's. Uh, I hope you're going to do well in your unit test. I wish you the very best, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Ah!